let's move on to main topic number, I think this is six. Let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, this is six. This is six. And then we have one more uh, rideshare related topic after this one. But one of the things that's been a blessing about this pandemic is that I have been getting a lot of reading done. I've been reading J.K. Rowling's mystery series, Gravity's Rainbow. I've been reading some historical works like the Hamilton book and Mein Kampf by Hitler, which is a very, 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 very scary book. Very scary book. It's actually kind of scary. It's frightening how this guy was completely transparent about what he planned to do and that people followed him anyway. That's a... Uh, Whew. But anyway, most of these books are read on one of two formats, paper, or they're read on my Nook, my Barnes & Noble Samsung Nook tablet, which I believe is my, that is my favorite device, and I also have a like big tablet for like my graphic novels and stuff like that. Well, even though it's my favorite reading device, it's my favorite e-reader, apparently that's not enough because... Barnes & Noble are no longer selling the tablets. And granted, that is what these were. They were tablets. They called them e-readers, but they were tablets. But they're no longer selling them, which is a shame. So according to a good e-reader, Barnes & Noble had an extensive tablet portfolio. They had their own Nook Tablet 7 and Nook Tablet 10.1, which is amazing, by the way. In addition to their deal with Samsung for a number of Samsung Galaxy Tab for Nook. They also had a number of cases and other accessories. It looks like the bookseller might be getting out of the tablet business altogether and have removed them from their website. The only devices they are currently marketing are their e-readers, the Nook Glow Light 3 and the Nook Glow Light Plus 7.8. Barnes & Noble had a number of tablets, they subcontracted other companies, the Nook Tablet 7, which competed against Amazon Fire 7, and Nook Tablet 10.1. They had a few generations of these devices and have never really had enough market share to make this viable, which I agree with. The Samsung relationship was first started around six years ago when Barnes & Noble decided to stop designing and manufacturing tablets themselves and signed a multi-year deal with Samsung. Samsung would white label their line of Android tablets and preloaded all the Nook apps on it. Barnes & Noble had to order hundreds of thousands of units, and since they never sold that many, they took millions of dollars in losses, which is why they still sold outdated tablets for years after they became irrelevant. As you know, Barnes & Noble was sold to a private equity firm, and the new CEO took the reins, who has decades of book-selling experience. I bet they looked at the tablets and looked at the sales and said, why the F are we still doing this? There might be some true. They, uh, they might... Uh, there might be a lot of truth to that uh, because, yeah, they do, Barnes & Noble does have a new owner in town, a new sheriff, as you will, and he's more of a traditional bookseller. Now, there have been rumors that the Nook might be discontinued. For example, Pocket Now had this article, Barnes & Noble Nook to be no more, and they write, Barnes & Noble Nook digital offerings have not been winners for the companies. Rather, far to the contrary, from the provision of its own Android-based software before having Samsung build some, to the locked-down ecosystem of the company's content stores, it just didn't add up for customers to flock over from the Kindle. Nook-related losses have been trailing off recently, so that means that more people are buying Nook books. Um, and uh, CEO Ron Boyer said in a press release accompanying the earnings report that he was, quote, pleased with the progress that had been made to reduce Nook losses. Um, however, however, there's still like a lot of questions. Now, what these two articles tell me side by side is that, yes, these tab and by the way, this is one of the nooks that I have. I love this device. It it's really, really good. They are probably going to scale back. They won't be doing tablets anymore. They'll just be doing the strict nook things. And I believe that in terms of for tablets and everything, they do have a nook app. And that will just be what people use. You can download the Nook app off the Apple Store, off the Microsoft Store, whatever, and you would have your library in that app. And that's kind of where it's heading anyway, because the only ebooks devices that really, really took off were Kindle and Kobo. Most companies tried their own tablet device. It didn't succeed very well. Barnes & Noble hang, hung in there longer than most because guess what? They're a bookstore. So, of course, they want to try to make that work, but it never really took off the way 
they had hoped. And so now I, I think their digital business is just going to be like a little side thing. Like I think it's too big to just get rid of, but it's not big enough to continue justifying putting a lot of money into it. And that's where we are right now. So anyway, I'd like to know, what are your thoughts on this? Do any of you own a Nook? Do you have an ebook? e-tablet or ebook reader like which one is your favorite and why i would love to know comment below like favorite share subscribe and as always claim responsibly